the situation there in the Ukrainian city of Slovyansk, just as Lysyshansk, that key eastern city, has fallen as well to Russian forces. Armin Georgian is here with me on set to get a bit more analysis about all of this. Armin, let's talk about that fall of Lysyshansk. What does that mean exactly for the war at the moment? Well, according to the Institute for the Study of War, this was a deliberate a Ukrainian withdrawal from Lysychansk in order to essentially fall back on other defensive lines. And certainly that is what quite a few analysts had been expecting would happen. Uh, it's been obvious for a while that Ukraine uh, is has been reinforcing the Bakhmut, uh, Slovyansk, Kramatorsk defensive line. That's what they're going to focus on now. And if they can't hold Bakhmut, they will absolutely try to hold uh, Kramatorsk and Slavyansk, because without those two cities, the Ukrainians essentially lose uh, the Donetsk uh, province. And remember, what Russia's stated goal is, is to capture the entire Donbass, which consists of two, uh, two provinces, Luhansk and Donetsk. Russia now apparently does have one of those two, uh, two administrative regions. Armin, all of this is coming as a conference is actually opening today in Switzerland to try and hash out a sort of Marshall Plan for Ukraine once the war is over. Why are we talking about reconstruction already when we're so far from a conclusion to this war? Well, this conference was actually planned before the war began, and it was originally meant to focus on reforms and corruption uh, in Ukraine. And now, of course, it's turned into a reconstruction conference, not surprisingly. The reforms and corruption aspect is still important because Ukraine has been given candidate status to join the European Union. And in any EU accession process, uh, the fight against corruption is crucial. So those things are still important. But when it comes to actual reconstruction, it's difficult, as you hinted at, uh, no one can put a figure on what uh, that reconstruction uh, would actually cost, given that more of Ukraine could still be destroyed. I mean, the recent missile attacks on Kiev and Kremenchuk show that nowhere in Ukraine is safe. So it's going to be very hard to quantify uh, reconstruction at this point. The goal now in Lugano is to come up with a sort of basic architecture to see who is going to give loans and what the conditions for those loans are going to be. Uh, some of the big multilateral institutions like the World Bank have already made commitments, but the uh, European Investment Bank, for example, has said that those big multilateral financial institutions, that their offers are not going to be enough, so someone else is going to have to step up as well. Those are the kind of things that are being uh, discussed in Switzerland right now. Armin, thanks for that. France 24's Armin Georgian.